Now, it's a very exciting day here today, April 18, 2013, because the plants came in from edibelelandscaping.com, and here they are, the perishable live plants. We're going to go ahead and plant wintergreen, strawberry, lavender, sage, rosemary, cranberry, and more. And I'll give you some views of what this looks like after. But boy, this is going to be different. And it should be a success. We'll see. Okay, here we are today, April 19, 2013, outside Honey Beehive B. You see that the honeybees here are nice and active after surviving a week of formic acid treatment for mites. And uh, they're out here, new bees taking some training flights and foragers going and coming with the, the goods for the day before some good rainstorms head our oh, it's way. It's pretty active out here today on this fine spring day and I want to get back in and show you why I really came uh, out here today. But just a quick hello to the bees here. So, Tony Teolis here again, todolisthome.com. I want to show you what it looks like after we went ahead and planted the 50 plants we put in the ground last night. And you can tell here we have a whole variety of different things. I'm just going to focus on what was planted last night. We have violet and lavender. But we see from the previous plantings how the peas and radishes are coming up. We got more peas and radishes over here. Over here, we went ahead and put in some more chives a couple of days ago. Last night, I come in here and planted some sage down there. More violet. I put some strawberries in and around this particular hoogle bed here. And going over to the new, newer hoogle bed, we come over here and see what's going on. We got uh, this bed ready for the tomatoes coming in probably later on this weekend, but we put in some more sage, rosemary in there as well. Down here, I just love this uh, chocolate mint. Just really wonderful to have growing in your garden. And over here where the white poles are, this is where the cranberry came in. The cranberry are quite tiny and I wanted to make sure that we don't step on any of them. That's kind of what they look like. And then I've got 13 of them planted around this berm. This berm will also support some other flowers. Right now it had crocuses in there. Down here we put in more lavender next to uh, these grape plants here. I hope that comes up pretty nice and we put some chives in next to the grape plants a couple of days ago and then where the other berms here are built and the white poles these uh, are marking where some winter green is planted and we've got 14 winter green plants here and one other cranberry plant all along here and then we'll put in some extra ground cover clover and some other things as well as uh, some flowers here uh, as the season continues to progress. We threw another strawberry plant into uh, this current plant here. That's, uh, that's the new plant down there. And then this is uh, strawberries from uh, the original pile. I would say this, this little strawberry bed here goes back three years. And of course, it's not very big, but it's, uh, it's quite We see productive. here how last year's raspberries are starting to come up. And then the raspberries from three years ago, those and a couple of blackberry plants planted in the back there. Going to be producing a lot of berries. And we went ahead and put in some extra new strawberry plants here. I should pick these flowers uh, off of these new plants so that they'll produce fruit next year. But these are only going to produce little strawberries, nothing really overproductive. No time to put out the uh, blood orange. We put in some extra strawberry plants into this uh, main strawberry planter. I think I really only had to put in one new plant into the planter here because there's a lot of runners that'll be coming up and that's garlic in there next to it. And going back here out next to the uh, grapes in the front yard, again we had some chives put in next to them a couple of days ago and I put some lavender right in the middle and I put another 
rosemary plant right in this planter here so that'll grow up nice and tall and last for many many years see if we get a nice close-up of what that's going to look like and again it's just so much fun just to go ahead and rub them a little bit uh, and it smells so nice and back here we have the greens that we put in the ground last week coming in and we've got some turnips and parsley the green onions are coming along fine here and then we have some flowers that are going to be popping up over here as well you see the roses will be coming in and I'll probably come in and mulch here a little bit but a key thing about the roses you see that I went ahead and planted in some garlic next to them last fall a lot of garlic around here this will help uh, protect them as well as give them some uh, extra nutrients from the herbs and I love to show off these plants here these are the elderberry coming along nice and strong yeah storms coming pretty quickly here so I'll tidy this up again you see garlic all around this hugel bed here just doing really fine and uh, one thing I wanted to point out here was this blueberry bush that I went ahead and stuck into the hugel bed I thought I had a space for it turned out I didn't so I put it here and we'll see how well it does over the years provided we make it that long and the rest of the garden and the environs here at to do list home .com. next week all will be popping in more action when the extra honeybees come and the hives will be full this is going to be a lot of fun out here stay tuned